Single player, impossible. Iron Man. Turn this on, second wave. Not created equally, hidden potential. Marathon. Aiming angles, start game. Sometimes it just doesn't matter how tactically good you are. Sometimes the game just decides that where you decided to put your ship down is exactly where all the aliens are. For the one person viewing in chat, any specific place you want me to set up my base this time? After all, I've got five, posi five positions, and while I've been landing in Canada every time so far, eh, maybe there's somewhere you'd prefer me to set up. I'm going to take this as time to hydrate. And we're back. Well, guess we're deploying in Canada. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. I'm sorry, Mexico, I guess. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Yeah, okay. Time for the next round of red shirts, I guess. Strike one, this is central. All right. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. And we've ended up in train tunnels. We've got Emily Edwards, who aims like Octodad. Stephen Williams, who aims like Octodad. Derek White, who actually knows how to shoot their gun. Let me guess, you're from the States. Impressive. And on who? Who is really, really good at shooting people? Okay, this has two very long corridors, or is basically bisected by this train. What we basically want to do is. We can. Move up to this train and use it as high cover. Okay. Hopefully we don't run into aliens in the first 10 seconds. On my way. Alien object in sight. And the fact that that reads as seven turns to go get that thing probably means move. that there are so many aliens between us Getting and it, it that we can't see that it's actually stupid. However, Hopefully we will be in very short range to them, and we have quite a few grenades. Either way, we're going to sidle up around the side of the map here. I'm on it, Commander. Suspiciously, I don't see anything yet. That's affirmative. I'm on it, Commander. All right. And oh, we've wrapped the over to that getting shot so far. Moving. Full cover. Nothing. I feel, Commander. Now that's Go. just uncomfortable. I'm on it, Commander. Why? Why are you so on the slow? move? I think I heard something. Alright, Edwards, move up to here. Moving out! Visual on the goods. Wells, Moving. move up Enemies in sight. Activate some aliens, yeah, that's what I was expecting. Got the 
goods. You've got one shot, and it's not a very nice one. Edwards has two shots, and is in low cover and flankable. I'm Light on command up. I'm overwatch. Get ready to take shots. Ooh. We don't really want to enter this bus because there's a fairly good chance that people are probably going to be on the other side of it. Edwards, you're gonna run back on my cover. way. Wells is going to hunger. Aye, aye, Commander. And on who is going to move back and overwatch, hoping they pull forward. <laughs> They do, but not to where we go. Commander, it would be preferable if we attempted to retrieve those canisters rather than destroying them. And they shot the Meldcaster and my guy's cover out. Not much we can really do about that, though. Meaning we're almost certainly going to have to start moving we'll do. forward. White takes his first few steps forward and sees whether or not he can throw a grenade. He can't, and he can't shoot anybody either. He doesn't have any targets, so he's going got my eyes to overwatch in case the thing moves forward. Wells doesn't have much choice, it's but to seek better cover. Position confirmed. And upon moving, he learns that they had an overwatch set up. He gets tapped, but is still alive. He runs up and hunks. This puts Edwards in a unique situation. There isn't any Overwatch coming. Meaning, I'm Running. gonna dash her into high cover. She runs forwards with extreme prejudice. On okay. who moves up just barely and gets ready to Overwatch. I'm on it. <laughs> Alien 2 Electric Boogaloo decides to buff up their friendly. Takes a shot and hits our injured unit. However, the rest of our team, somehow, for this game, manages to keep their composure. I'm on the move! Enemy troops! Edward bashes her way through, through a train window somehow and is spotted by everything under the sun. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. She takes a shot at, at the health of alien and fucking misses it. Miss the target. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. I'm Derek Blight moves up and hunkers down. If he takes a hit, it won't be fatal. Whose cover isn't going to exist for another turn, so... Stepping up. She sprints up to high cover. <laughs> Alien 2 Electric Boogaloo gets help from the background. We've got two melders on the same game rock. This alien runs up to the side and probably overwatches. That one then moves forward. Takes a shot taking, taking Edwards out. Watch the flame. And now we're done. Down three out of four. White is panicking, but he's running out of options. There's almost nowhere he can Head go. Head into that location. He moves up on the side and has one bad shot left. So, he overwatches, knowing that there's almost nothing he can do. <laughs> the alien 
and fires at him and hits. Still alive. Got it. It moves up and gets overwatched. Normally, I'd decide not to do that. Bet if I had the rest of my team, but frankly, there wasn't anything left. Command Central, this is Big Sky. Emergency abort. Squad is down. Repeat, squad is down. We're receiving, Big Sky. Status black confirmed. Return to base for debriefing. And... While he doesn't die from the first shot, he collapses and bleeds out his last as the aliens take over the planet. Congratulations! Game number three, then. Or is this four now? Eh, whatever. Not created equally, hidden potential, full marathon aiming angles. And I think I forgot to activate one of the two DLCs, but who cares that one's bad? Skip the intro cutscene, deploy in North America. The drop site for this operation will be in Canada. Interesting. Apparently we picked up a local broadcast Ottawa. indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. That's hilarious. Best that they actually have a store simply a labeled liquor here, considering the fact that that's basically how we sell our liquor here in Canada. Although we call the shop beer. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. And so we have... Jan Mulder. I'm not quite sure what flag that is, but they can aim, so I don't care. We've got Quinn. And in, in the, I think that's Spanish, who can also aim. We've got Fisher, who can't point their gun in the correct direction. The German, Conrad Fisher, and Lewis from, I'm pretty sure that's Britain, who has average aim. Welcome, new team. Why is the Brazilian flag here? Okay, well, whatever. We're going to move up, up and try to get around the side of this building. Meaning we're going to run to the edge of the map. So we don't spot any aliens or Good to go. Heading to that location. Overwatch. Oh, yeah, scanning. We're going to creep up single file around the edge of the map. Bit by bit. While normally the uh melt would be enticing for a player, we really, really, really don't want to be shot. Lewis Understood. Martin Moving is on. going to dash just ahead because I've learned now that they're one oh, tile perfect. slower. Moving. Meaning that to keep our party together, we're going to do our best to keep them in front of us. And now we're going to creep around the side of the map. We could go up if we wanted to. Which, actually, thinking about it, isn't the worst. Position. So, knowing that aliens typically don't spawn on this roof, we're going to sprint hard and get to the top of this building. Because the fog Dodger, has decided to do something stupid and show me that there is indeed meld behind this building. Which, uh, you know, means we're gonna go get that canister. On the move! This other meld over here is in the open, and we don't really have advantage. It's shooting down at it, but up here, we could actually theoretically attack it fairly reasonably. Granted, we hear Shh. aliens. I think I heard something. But we can set up a pretty nasty ambush I'm here. Visual on the goods. This melt has seven turns remaining, meaning that there's probably a pretty nasty contingent of aliens ready to jump on us when we go for it. Heading there now. Regardless, we set up our team to get ready. All 
already there. Taking up positions along the side of this roof. And whoever has the worst aim is going to go down and pick up that melt canister next turn. Congratulations, hey, Fisher! It's you. Covering now. Luckily, you're one of the ones that are close to the meld. Shh. There's almost... That? There's almost certainly aliens watching this melt canister from what we're seeing. And as such, we might be sending Fisher down to their, their doom. Oh, team but... Deke. We've got to find them at some point. We collect this first meld canister and realize that not quite yet have we he's seen the aliens. And so we're going to move up to here so he's at least in cover that isn't the meld. Everyone else is going to wait. I just I've got my eyes on. Lost that other meld canister, but frankly, getting one out of two isn't bad. Fisher pops around the corner, and then I'm on it, Commander. Them. I'm on the move. Martin gets ready. He need to breach we'll this go. door, as does Mulder. I know what you're going to Overwatch. Ich habe alles im Blick. They all stand ready. Zabla is on the other side nice. of the door, Fisher says. So first, Mulder breaches. To reveal nothing, Quinn breaches. Enemy in sight! And there's aliens, just on the other side. X-rays come from the side. And so, Watch the flags. they fan All right, we've made contact. Fisher moves back to deal with the alien in our background. Even though he's literally right next to the alien, he had a 10% chance to miss. He then criticals the alien for minimum damage, but minimum damage is enough to kill it. Quinn answers the alien's incursion with a grenade. Throwing grenade! Hurting one alien, and then shredding his cover. Martin takes the shot to kill the alien, using his sidearm as he doesn't need the full damage of his rifle. for literally one damage, but that's enough. It dies. Mulder er, penetrates the room. Solid copy. Running to take care of the, of the last alien. He puts its rifle against its head. Bam, it's dead. Even though it's not a critical, he does the exact same damage that at the previous <laughs> that that his friend did. Seeing aliens breaching Ready he to attack the group. Rolling. Poop through that window oh, in the distance. Everyone pulls out. Moving out! Martin swapping back Position to his primary. Confirmed. Everyone takes a moment to reload their weapons. Oh, I got my eyes on. And we get ready to go forward. Slowly, carefully. We can hear the noise. aliens getting ready to, to attack us. But, we're a little cleverer than that, as we creep up the side. On my way. Moving. Oh my god, Martin. Oh, on ass. Uh, Scanning. Martin is so overweight that this short jaunt that is simply jogging for everyone else is actually sprinting for Martin. Conrad moves up, ready to breach the door. Moving. Quinn joins them. Martin, being the slowest, moves into the door frame itself. 
And Mulder moves in behind. On the move. Forming a breach team. I'm on it. I'm I'm on it. They all ready themselves. There's aliens across, but we're fairly sure there's still a team in here. So Martin opens the door. Revealing nothing as of yet. He Roger, moves in carefully. It. Quinn moves Headed in there to now. Join. But there is no one. I feel, Commander. Got it's it over. covered. Um, um, ready themselves for any contact that might happen. Ich habe alles im Blick. Fisher, Roger that. Copies, and Mulder moves to better cover. Aye, aye. We can hear them chattering in the distance, but yet we still don't see them. Fisher moves. Moves quietly and quickly towards the other building. On the move. Mulder joins. Position Martin, confirmed. Quinn moves. Aye, aye, Commander. Roger that. Got it covered. Covering the back of that. They're behind this door. Is that us? We're almost certain. Yes, Mulder greets Wall. Fisher, her matches. Running. Martin, Finn, and Quinn dash to cover Let's the distance. Let's do this. Mulder and Muscle. Fisher, Overwatch. Here they come. Aliens come up our side. Mulder has a shot. He lands it. The aliens scramble for cover. Alas, this wasn't the group we were expecting to fight today. We know the weeks. Conrad that circles around and takes high ground. Hoping to get a good shot. He's got one. Conrad, shaking, unable to hold his rifle well, gets ready. Hello, Pupo Karma. Interesting choice of wording. Heading to that location. Well, okay then. Uh, I was looking at chat. Fisher actually hit something, but hilariously hit it, well, badly. Lewis decides to actually hit the alien, real this time, Nailed and it, it dies. Hilariously, they apparently both decided to hit a kneecap. Unfortunately, this isn't Escape from Tarkov, so that's not the least armored area of the alien. Quinn, and and thinks about it for a while Heading and to that location. decides to move up to high cover. And by high cover, we don't mean full cover. Seeing as her friends are still in danger, I she feel readies commander. her rifle. Mulder, her sits, that's behind the corner of this wall and realizes that if his cover is shot at, the other group of aliens might get a beat up. Got it. And so, he moves to the side and hops. You can hear the aliens making plans in the distance. They charge. Just out of sight. Incoming fire! Hilariously, they take out their own cover. Fisher runs up the side, trying to get a good shot on that Hold alien. He doesn't have one. He has an okay shot. It's not the best, but he steadies his record. Adding two kills to his record. Earning a promotion. 
Mulder her calms himself and Heading to back, that location. back to the door. He's ready, ready to breach. He reloads. Quinn Heading there now. drops down, ready to breach that door as well. Figuring they can get a flank, Martin then moves over. Her, her to where her, her, his friend is standing. Double thinking it, he moves to the other corner out. of the building. They all ready for the last, last fight. <laughs> there are aliens in this building. They're ready. Quinn opens the door. Enemy in sight. The aliens realize that that there are two humans over there. And so they dash for cover. But Fisher was ready. He drops down. Slowly as hell, Fisher. Er, and comes up right behind the alien. Martin drops to the other corner of her Solid building, copy. also flanking. Martin then takes his shot first. Dropping his and owning, earning a promotion. Mulder her, her debates how this alien dies, as does Quinn. They get ready, and... There isn't any cover up there. Quinn doesn't have a grenade left. But... Mulder does. And so, Mulder closes to close distance. And drops his grenade right on the creep and his cover. Blowing his cover out of the water. Eat this! We hope. The alien is completely uncovered. Out of options. I'm rolling. Quinn moves in and has a very good shot at taking out the alien. She swaps to her sidearm, knowing that she doesn't need rifle bullets for this. Unfortunately, she no doesn't know how to aim, happened. apparently. Look Quinn out. circles around, but doesn't have a shot. The alien rushes for another source of cover, and takes a shot. Ah! He hits the worst member of the team, but somehow his Kevlar saves him from burning hot alien plasma. Already er earning a promotion, Ken Quinn doesn't need to actually do anything impressive right now, and so he throws a, a grenade exclusively, exclusively at the alien's cover kicking a door open for some reason. You know there's no glass in those windows, right? Quinn takes takes another shot at the alien trying to earn that promotion. And she gets it! Bye -bye. Congratulations! Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. And we return to base. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research The lab. Sky Ranger sets down. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Yeah, I'm Central hello, Officer Bradford. Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My I'll efforts let everyone should allow you to focus themselves. on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Huzzah! And everyone earns a promotion! Mulder, her learning that to the research labs. he's the Commander only one who can apparently aim labs. on the entire team, picks up a sniper rifle. Conrad, learning that he can't aim, picks up a shotgun, and gains one aim this level up, annoying the commander greatly. Good job, Fisher. You killed three aliens, mainly because I took the most shots with you. Quinn is just sort of done trying to use sidearms and decides to replace it with a rocket launcher after missing that alien who was standing in the middle of the room with no cover and one health. And Martin 
Commander to the research labs. Has Commander decided that he really, labs. really likes getting shot, and as such has decided to be a support. It's about time Britain did something useful. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. We walk over to the research wing to be interrupted Hello, by Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Apparently. Let's take the time to look at how aliens work. Seems the complexities of our latest research projects are overwhelming the current staff. I hope you'll consider seeking out additional scientists to bolster the team. Apparently, it's going to take Valen 24 days to cut open an alien. Impressive. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Very slowly. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Realizing that anyone who gets shot is probably just going to die, we're instead going to build an elevator and ignore the fact that he has apparently decided that medkits are worth all the money in the universe. We're also going to begin excavating. What we're looking for is to get to that steam room. Because we really, really like game sales. What we actually need is satellites, but right now, we don't have the money. We will have the money after we decide to do this alien mission, which is going to show up in less than 24 hours. Wow. That's an impressive amount of days that we just wasted because apparently Commander, this is really Commander, we slow. picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the Hollow Globe. Well, okay, we've got engineers in Japan, $200 in France, and four scientists in Brazil, which means we're going to Japan. Yeah, Japan. That's not Japan. That's Japan! There we go. And as such, we're getting ready to bring our new team. And we put Quinn right back onto the bench. Because instead, we're bringing someone named Klaus Meyer, who has the worst soul patch of all time. And for that horrible soul patch, Klaus gets red armor. As does Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Thomas can't aim for shit. Get out of here, Thomas. Flynn! I was expecting you to be a girl. Flynn Carroll, oh, from Canada, has decided to join our team. And don the red armor. Rookie Meyer, her Klaus, has decided to join us from Germany. Mulder is coming with us because Mulder can aim. As standard for every sniper I ever have, you're going to wear black armor. Because, well, yeah, I like black armor on my sniper. And Squatty Martin, uh, Squatty Martin, our support, really, really needs to get at, at a speed upgrade. However, we're going to put him, him, him in a beautiful shade of dark green. Because apparently, every time I put the supports in the cor correct color that I do like them wearing, they get fucking shot. You guys don't get to wear anything cool on your head yet, because none of you have managed to hit an eight. Because only a Mulder, her and Martin have hit aliens, and you haven't hit enough to reach a decent rank. Mulder apparently killed one alien, and I didn't even realize that's hilarious. Well, we're going to send everyone out, even though our sniper is carrying only a grenade. And learning from last time, we're people get shot and apparently don't get killed sometimes, I'm going to manufacture a medkit, even though I am not sure they're even useful. Not right now, anyway. We're going to Tokyo, everyone. Mulder! 
because you're carrying a sniper rifle and nothing else. Bolts. Moving and shooting is not your specialty, so we're going to give you a med kit just in case we need to move and spray someone down with it. Let's go. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Right then. And now we're going to assault Japan. I You'll mean, be assault heading into Japan, Japan for the next mission. I mean, let's launch. And we slowly we touch down. Down in our big flying metal bird. Why are you running forward with a sniper rifle out? Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Ah, uh, yes, the train. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. All right then. Well, let's get ready because this place is uh, mighty interesting sometimes. Moving out. Mulder moves up to some boxes. Okay. Air joins him. Aye, aye, Carol. Commander. Our affirmative. This place has long lanes going this way and short ones going that way, meaning we're probably going to want to move, move, I don't know, let's call that north, across along the edge of the map. We can swivel into cover if we need to, but we're going to move slowly and single Overwatch. Overwatch. Aye, aye. It's come and frankly, we should probably have our sniper in the back, but we can up. swivel our team around. Looking across our team, it seems that Meyer her, her is tied with the slowest movement speed, and as such, going to be our frontliner. As such, we're going confirmed. to use the Beagle Rush method. Rolling out. Everyone takes single file and is extremely careful. We can hear Mel's coming from two different areas, but because Mel is almost always dangerous, and we've learned that Martin is in fact slower than both of his teammates. Than, than his German and Canadian teammates. On my way. Well, we'll change up the order in a minute. Round to right to the Every single time we take a couple steps, we've decided. What was that? That, that we're going to need to Overwatch just in case some aliens come into our side like this. Just so we can waste some rounds out of our rifles. You know that does hit people sometimes. I swear. We've learned that we've got aliens, and as such, we're going to start taking up cover. Klaus moves forward, heard in, into good cover, as does Klaus Carroll. But I feel, Commander. there is only so much good cover to go around, and as such, it seems Martin and his friend Jan and Mulder are completely out. Mulder runs Understood. forward and Moving out. against the flat of the train car, or so they can't get shot at. And Mulder Moving is too slow location. to get over there. Unfortunately, he's lined up for a shot. Down here. He gets lucky. He is the alien aims badly. Elsewhere, we can hear the aliens. It's getting ready to charge. And so the charge comes. I'm all right. One of the rookies has their cover shot out. We can see where that mine melt is coming from, but can't get there. 
Right now, we've got to solve this first. We move, aye, into, aye, we move into flank. And hilariously, we don't have the right shot. Our sniper takes, takes, takes a shot with his pistol. And actually manages to get a good, good bit of damage on, on that alien there. Desperate, <laughs> a slightly desperate move. But Klaus hey, runs up, up and goes to throw a grenade for that back alien. And he can hit it. Klaus earns his promotion as he throws his grenade blindly in the car and hits that injured alien in the back, taking out the mind melted unit. Unfortunately, he spots additional aliens in the background somehow. He reports that he's flanked by the alien right fucking in front of him. And he's not wrong. We must find a way to deal with this alien. Harold runs up the side, plants himself against cover. He's got a decent shot. I'm about strikes. to start keeping score. Our, our support takes some time to hyperventilate before he moves Heading up to that location. and gives covering smoke to his allies. They've only got half cover, and he probably need it. Clouds away. Because we've got more aliens creeping on our side. Hear them mind melding in preparation for an assault. And moves forward. Overwatch. But he's decided to stop moving, being in line of sight of our sniper. It's not a good shot, but it's a shot nonetheless. He misses. Missed. Mayor creeps up the side and spots additional aliens. I uh, yeah. They yeah. got me flanked. Just killed our sniper. Good, good. Shoot that back alien for me, will you? Yeah, good shot. I'm on the move. Burn, covering now. On my way. Ah, uh, excuse me? Well, that's some more shit. All right. He tries to shoot out that back alien. X-ray down. Harold earns his stripes. Hips again, but he's almost certainly due. Nope. Okay. The tiny alien. Back. Cover my plane. On this side, right, the alien gets a buff and oh, also oh, shoots oh, our sniper oh, out. Mulder oh, unfortunately right panics. What's happening? Our support panics. This isn't right! This isn't right! And tries to kill murder our rookie. <laughs> Good. Carol, the only functional member of the team. The team has to debate how, why, and where to go. And decides that the best, best method is to run for it. 
wounded and without support, you just gotta move back. The meld is lost. Not that we were ever going for it. Mayor is hurt. For positioning, anyway. That's affirmative. Carol moves in and to cover that side. To make sure that alien doesn't think of anything too exciting. Mayor needs better cover, but if he tries to move for any, he's almost certainly going to be shot. As there's clearly aliens covering him. Martin is almost out of choices as well. Carol throws throws a grenade, hoping to take out the cover. Suck on this! And while the alien is wounded, it's not dead, and its cover still stands. Needing the bullets for later, Klaus takes his shot, caught with his pistol. Launches! Klaus, ta Klaus drops him, but the threat isn't over yet. No good cover to go around. I'm on it. Simply overwatches. Ready for the aliens to charge again. Ich glaub nicht, dass wir hier alleine sind. You can hear them in the distance. And a charge. Martin takes his shot. That would have killed any normal sectoid, but unfortunately, this one and is hyped up. But, Klaus finally has, has what he needs. He moves up. And Overwatch bugger. Alright then, Klaus gets hit, but he's not dead yet. Klaus activates more aliens. Of course he... Of course he does. Meyer er, takes aim and drops his second pistol kill alien. Man. Seeing out. the danger his friend is in, Martin runs up Got it covered. and steadies his rifle. Carol is hurt. Almost out of options. But Moving out. he runs for cover. Er, as well. Getting ready to creep up the alien flank. The aliens continue to buff and support. They take shots. And Meyer falls over. But he's not dead. Unfortunately, the person with the med kit is. Meaning we now have a total of three rounds of three he's gone. Straight through, solid cover. Her, her, pretty much our last hope is down. And now it's just Martin. Heading out. Martin's got, got a shot on a high health alien. But it's not good enough. Moving out. He sprints for the back lines. <laughs> Aliens creep up his flank. But they can't hit him. But they're flanking one my ass position. alien comes up. And oh. the Killing this exit. This is Big Sky. Emergency abort. Squad is down. Repeat, squad is And we're just gonna go back to mission. Excavation to complete. Us, us that one unit for no reason. Commander to the situation room. Commander to the situation room. There was something we could have done. 
some aspect of our research that we perhaps overlooked. We will be in touch, it's Commander. Called, there were, for some reason, 12 aliens. Commander, you can now honor our soldiers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, Bradford, but we're trying.